Ajahn. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make vegetable samosas, which is a savory pastry dish filled with vegetables. The ingredients are two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one medium onion, three cups of mashed boiled potatoes, one green chili chopped up, one tablespoon of ginger grated, one carrot, half a cup of cilantro, salt to taste, some peas, green peas you can use, half a cup, and the in, uh, spices are one ta tablespoon of coriander powder, one fourth teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of Cuban powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, and a dash of turmeric. Garam masala is a combination of cloves, cinnamon, cardamom, fennel, all those ground together, which you can always buy it from an Indian store. I'm going to show you how to make the filling for the samosas. The filling can be almost anything. You can even make it with uh, ground meat, any kind of vegetables you would like. First, you add the vegetable oil. Add the onions. Fry the onions until it becomes a little brown. After it becomes brown, add the green chili. And then add the ginger. Fry that for like three minutes. You can get the smell from the ginger and the onion and the green chili. It smells very good. Then you add the vegetables you are going to use. You can use almost any vegetable except you don't want it to be, become watery. So try to use something like carrots and peas and something that doesn't bring out a lot of moisture. So now add the vegetables. I'm going to add the carrots and the peas green peas let that fry for a minute you don't want it to be overcooked so just fry for a few seconds now you can add the spices After that, you saute that for a few seconds. You don't want the spices to be burned, so you just saute it for a few seconds. You don't. You want to get the raw smell of the spices out. You want to get all the smell of all the spices together. It gives a good smell. That's what you want. Now you can add the coriander or the cilantro that you chopped up. You want to reduce the heat a little bit. So put it on medium heat so that it doesn't get burnt. Now you can add the potatoes. Also add the salt for taste.
mix it all up. You don't want any lumps. You want uh, all this to be mixed together. You want to mash the potatoes with a potato masher. And you don't want to be mashed like a mashed potato type. You want it to be a little lumpy, not too, too lumpy. Now that is done. So you can turn off the heat now. And let it cool a little bit before you can fill the pastry. Okay, while that gets cooled, we can work on the pastry. I'm going to show you how to make the pastry dough for the samosas. You have to get, take two cups of all-purpose flour, four tablespoons of any vegetable oil, uh, four tablespoons of water, and uh, I usually use the food processor, but you can also use your hands to make the dough. And it should be like a very soft dough. It shouldn't be very hard. And if you can adjust the oil and the water, depending upon how soft you want it. It should be pliable, it shouldn't be very hard, but it shouldn't be too soft either. So I have already prepared one, and this is what it is. You have to let it sit for like 30 minutes, and then you can make this. You can cut each one into like eight pieces. So you make into like a ribbon, thick ribbon like that. And then you can cut into eight pieces and take each one of them and make a tortilla. To save time, I have already made the pastry. So I can show you how to do the rest of it. Cut this in half. Next thing, you have to make a corn out of that. So do it this way. And make like one fourth inch overlapping. Since it is fresh dough, you can just press it down so that you wouldn't have any hole there. Now you have a cone. So what you do is, take the corn in your hand, hand like this, open it up, and then you fill it with the filling. Use like one, one and a half teaspoon of the filling. And then you work with it so that you can cover it up. So press it down like that. And then you can overlap again this way. So you can also get a pattern and which will help it not to open up when you fry. So that's the samosa. So it is like in triangular shape. So you make all of them that way. Show you one more. Open it up. Try to cover it. Just press it down very well so that it doesn't open up. You don't want it to be open up in the oil. Now 
Next, I'm going to show you how to deep fry the samosas. Get a, a deep fry dish, add some oil, like it should be enough to cover the uh, samosas, it should be floating in that oil. And it should be like in a medium heat, that's good enough, you don't need a very hot oil, but it should be hot. Can try one first. When you first put it, it'll go towards the bottom, but then it'll come up. So you can add all of them. You can see how it is coming up, floating to the top. Take a few minutes. The dough will become brown. When you turn it and see how the other side, it still needs to be a little bit longer. The dough kind of puffs up in the oil. It becomes very crispy in the oil. You can see that. You can, I can feel it when you touch it. Let it brown a little longer. See that it's getting brown there. You can keep turning it, and you know, depending upon how brown the east side is. Looks like this one is done. See how brown that is. So you want that color, that golden brown color. Drain it on a paper towel. The inside stuffing is all cooked so you don't have to worry about whether it is done or not. You only have to get it this, the dough brown so that you know that the dough is cooked. Looks good now. You can take it out. Doesn't that look delicious? 